Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some really useful and essential Dyson Airwrap tips for beginners. Now, you don't have to be a beginner to find value in this video. Maybe you've owned your Dyson Era for a few months, maybe even a few years. You still haven't managed to get to grips with it, so this video may be useful for you. I'm just gonna get straight into it. So the first tip is gonna be specifically for the curling barrels, as I know that this is one of the most popular attachments with the Dyson Era. And this is gonna be about the technique of using the curling barrels. And I see a lot of videos going around Instagram and TikTok and even now over on YouTube and YouTube Shorts. And although some of them are really useful, I do notice that sometimes the technique is quite wrong and I just think that it leads to people not creating the best curl that they probably could if they knew the correct technique to using the curling barrels. So this tip is whenever you're using the curling barrel, you really want to get a clean roll on that curl. Whenever your hair latches around the curling barrel, gently roll it back and forth to just let that hair really, really cleanly latch on to the air wrap and just keep rolling it back and forth until you get all the way to the root. That is just gonna create a really nice clean curl around the barrel and it means that your hair is going to evenly distribute along the barrel so it just means that more of it's going to get the heat it's going to curl better it's going to stay longer there's just loads of benefits to just getting this technique right okay so the next tip is for the curling barrels and whenever you're using the Dyson app you'll hear a lot of people say and even Dyson themselves that you want your hair to be about 80 percent dry whenever you're actually using the attachments and whenever you're going in with the curling barrels and your hair's 80% dry, it may even be a little bit wetter than that, you wanna make sure that before you release the curl, that that hair is 100% dry, because if you release that curl, and your hair is only about 90, 95% dry, then the chances of that curl dropping, and not lasting as long, and not forming that really beautiful curl that you want to form, is just really, really high. So you want to make sure that the curl is 100% dry, before you release it. And guys, I just wanna say, if you're watching this video and you're like, I cannot get my curls to last, that it lasts longer than like 30 minutes and they fall out, I was exactly the same whenever I first bought the Dyson app. Honestly, I just thought it was a load of crap and I'd wasted my money. My curls wouldn't last any more than like an hour before dropping out loads. And right now, these curls that I have in my hair, I've had these for the past four days in my hair. And I feel like they're going pretty strong. I mean, they have fallen out a little bit at the back, but like I just feel like these are still going really really strong and that is because I've just found all these really good little techniques a lot of them are so simple but so essential I've also worked out the best products to use for my hair and just combining everything together has just really really helped my curls last so much longer so guys we're going to move away from tips on the curling barrels but if you want more tips on how to use the curling barrels and how to get your curls to last longer as well as any other style that you create with the Dyson Air app. I do have a Dyson Air app course that I brought out last month. It was a year in the making and I'm really, really excited to have it out there. And I know lots of you have already found so much value in it. So I'm gonna link it in the description. It is a complete A to Z course on how to use your Dyson Air app, how to use the core attachments. You have it for life. You can go back and rewatch the videos until you nail how to use the attachment. So like I said, that will be linked in the description if you wanna check it out. Okay. Okay, the next point is one that I'm sure you've heard a lot flying around social media and again with Dyson themselves, they also recommend this, but I honestly cannot hone in on how important this is. And if you are a beginner and you haven't watched any videos on the Dyson Air app, you may not know this, but whenever you are styling your hair with any of the attachments, you want to make sure that you finish that style with a cold shot. Now, a lot of people just think that that applies to just the curling barrels, but that also applies to all of the attachments especially the round brush because I know that a lot of us create like a bouncy blow dry with the round brush and you can set that curl that you're creating with the round brush with a cold shot and what that does is that just pulls down the style that you've set and just helps it set in place again resulting in that style lasting so much longer so it's really really simple to do the cold shot you can either just pull it all the way down in the heat settings down to the lowest point with a little blue dot or you can just push up the on button that all 
also goes to the cold shot. To be honest, I very rarely do that because I just feel like it hurts my finger like having to hold it up for like an extended period of time. So I just always use the little heat set one. Okay, the next tip I wanted to share is one again that I've seen just floating around online a lot. A lot of people asking, what is this? Why is this happening to my Dyson Air app? And a lot of people are aware. And the thing is, whenever I make these videos, I think that everyone knows a lot of these little bits of information. So I do apologize if you're watching this and you're like, Alana, like I obviously already know that. That's in all the instructions whenever you get the Dyson Air app, but you wouldn't believe the amount of people that do not read the instructions and do not know this. So I just feel like it's a really useful point worth sharing. And it is honestly, essential to looking after your Dyson Air app. And that is, whenever you're using your Dyson Air app and you see this little white light flashing, that means you need to clean your filter. And guys, I cannot stress how important this is. You have paid a lot of money for this device. You want to make sure that you're maintaining it and you're looking after it. Do not ignore that little white light and it's so, so easy to clean. You just remove this and look, you can actually see the dust that's in mine at the minute. My light is actually flashing at the minute, but I purposely didn't clean it so I could show you in this video. And you can see all the dust and look at that. I mean, if you kept using your Dyson Air app and you did not clean it, that would absolutely destroy it. And that would not fall under your warranty because it is up to you to keep your filter clean. That little round brush that you get with your Dyson Air app, I've seen so many people online going, what is this little round brush? What do I use it for? It is for cleaning your filter. You wanna make sure that you're looking after it and you wanna make sure you can use it to its fullest potential. So whenever that little white light flashes, clean it. So guys, the last tip that I'm gonna share is a really useful one, and there's quite a few points within this tip, and that is to experiment with your Dyson Air app. And let me explain what I mean by this. So we all have different hair, we all have different hair types, different things work for different people's hair. What works for me may not work for you. That is something again that I cover in my course. I do explain a lot of little points. If your hair types like this, X, Y, or Z, you may wanna try this, you may wanna do that, you may not wanna do that, because I understand that all of our hairs work differently. Therefore, this is gonna work a little bit differently on everyone's hair. So one major example that I wanna explain is I've seen a lot of people, again, online, say that their hair actually styles better whenever their hair is pretty much 100% dry rather than having it about 80% dry. And I have actually found that to be the case with some of the attachments. For example, with the curling bars, I have found that the drier my hair, it, it doesn't work very well if it's 100% dry. I need a little bit of dampness because you need your hair to be a little bit damp to latch onto the bar. I have found if I get it to the very point where it's like almost dry, but still just that tiny, tiny little bit damp, so it's about 90, 95% dry, my curls actually do last longer than if it's about 70 to 80% dry. However, when I'm using the round brush, it styles so much better and lasts so much longer whenever my hair is wetter. And again, it's different with the smoothing brushes. So that's why you need to experiment because your hair is probably gonna work differently on all the different attachments. So don't be afraid to experiment, mix it up a little bit. One day try and style it with your hair being 100% dry. The next day maybe try it being 70 to 80% dry and mix it up with the different attachments and you will find that different things will work for your hair. So do not just do one rule applies to all that is not the case we are all lucky enough to have different hair types unique beautiful hair learn to get to know it because it's just really going to help you get the fullest out of your Dyson Air app and guys I would absolutely love to know any little tips that you found that works great for your hair type please comment below because I love sharing it with my audience it just helps so many more people out there so if you maybe have slightly thinner hair you may be like actually Alana my hair styles better with the smoothing brush whenever I do X, Y, or Z, or with the curling barrels whenever I do X, Y, or Z. Or again, different products may work differently with different attachments. For example, I usually use slightly different products whenever I'm using the smoothing brush to whenever I'm using the curling barrels because I'm wanting to get two completely different looks. So please comment below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give a thumbs up. I will be linking my Dyson Air App course in the description of this video if you would like to sign up for it. I'm of course going to be releasing lots more videos on the Dyson Air app along with lots of other hair and beauty and fashion related videos so please make sure you hit that subscribe button. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.